Now that you have the whites of the eyes, it's time to look at the pupil and the iris of the eye. So you're going to need a round ellipse again. And the size of your iris will really depend on what you want to do. Mine were kind of just a little bit bigger or just the perfect size to fit in there. And you can choose if you want to make yours bigger. Hold down shift to make it round. And then you would just cut off the top and the bottom. I'll go ahead and show you what that will look like here. Remember you have to be on the shape tool to change the color. And before we do anything, go ahead and copy and paste that shape. So Command J to copy that layer. And if you Command T, you can drag in. And if you hold down Option or Alt, it will allow you to keep it in the center. And holding down Shift will keep it a perfect circle. So you can decide how big you want your pupil to be and switch to the shape tool and yes we want to apply to change the color to black and there you go and this may look a little strange let me zoom out to show you yes that looks very strange but let's go ahead and rasterize your eyes then you can merge them and add a mask. Now, in order to get the shape of the white, go ahead and click on the whites of the eye. Grab the wand tool with your W and click on the outside of the eye. And you can't tell, but everything except for the eye is selected. So it's selecting all of this area, just not this part right here. So, if I go to my mask right here, and I paint with black, because remember, our mask is white, so covering with black is going to cover part of the image. So grab your brush tool and paint, and I can get a nice solid edge there by painting along that edge. And Command D. And that's what a really large eye looks like. I do think that's a little strange. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to deselect. Select my layer and Command T. And make that quite a bit smaller. Now if I wanted it to hang over just that much, I could do the same process again. Magic wand, click, grab my paintbrush, and select the mask. And just erase out that little bit, Command D, and then your eye looks like that. And I think that's pretty acceptable. You can do the same thing with the eyeball that you did for the whites of the eyes. Command J to copy that layer. And Command T to flip it and then move it, holding down Shift if you want it to stay in place. Press Enter, and that seems to have snapped it right to the right spot. And the last touch that you can do, if you want to add a new layer, you can grab a white brush and you can put a little shine on the eye if you want to and if you want it to be bigger just grab a bigger brush and then one more thing here we're going to select the whites of the eyes again grab your magic wand and click and we'll go ahead and add some shadow to the edges with your gradient tool same process as before this time I'm gonna grab this preset right here it's going to give you a black and no transparency on this side. And I can just add a little bit of dimension to the edges of the eyes. And just a small amount on this side. And if you do that on the other side, then you'll have the same thing on the other side. 